lights up, everybody. Uh, what's up, everybody? My name is Carrie. Welcome back to my fountain pen channel. Mostly fountain pen channel. <laughs> um, today, I am going to be doing for you all my ink collection, my fountain pen ink collection, as it stands at the end of 2021. Uh, I always say every year I'm not going to buy much ink, and I always do. It is shocking how that works. <laughs> uh, so I don't want to spend any more time uh, of yours during this preamble, so let me flip the camera around, and I will show you all of the inks. Okay, so in no particular order, I think I might actually start with an order, to be honest. I think I might start with Mont Blanc inks. Um, my desk is full. <laughs> Full of stuff, uh, and it's uh, it's a bit oppressive. So let's just get stuck into it and see where what happens. So I have a bunch of Mont Blanc inks um, that I've had for anywhere between like just one year to multiple. Uh, I mean, as you can see, some of them are getting a little dirty. Um, so I've got Mont Blanc Toffee Brown. Um, Mont Blanc Antoine de Saint Exupéry. I don't know fully how to pronounce that. Uh, Mont Blanc, uh, Heritage Miter Spider Metaphor for Grey, I can't speak English. Uh, these are all like the square bottles here. Um, I don't have too many of like just the plain ones. This is the only like normal version of Mont Blanc ink that I have. Um, I did used to have also the, um, oh shoot, what is it called now? The purple one um, that they don't actually make anymore that look like kind of blueberry pie filling as uh oh my gosh I can't even Matt from the pen habit called it um but I've gone through the entire bottle so this is the only regular edition that I have um I also have the cigar version which is the scented ink this is the only one that I have that's actually a black bottle um so that's a little strange <laughs> most of them are clear um so I got that one and this one is Le Petit Prince Red Fox. I bought this when I bought the Le Petit Prince um, pen. I don't love this ink, to be honest. It's not as red as I would have liked. Uh, it's it's kind of pale. Uh, I like a little bit more saturation. This is sort of like that orangey red. Um, so I don't love the color, but it is there. Of course, of course, I have James Purdy and Son Single Malt. You all know it is my favorite. This bottle is about halfway done. I do have another bottle of this um, that is full uh, for when I run out um, because it would have been a very sad, sad song um, if I ran out and didn't have more. Um, and then the last Mont Blanc uh, ink bottle that I have is William Shakespeare Velvet Red. This is a smaller one. Um, I don't use it super often, but I do quite enjoy this red. Uh, and I actually bought this off of a friend from a pen show, which was really nice, because uh, this one's not made anymore. Uh, and then just to get them out of my way, I won't go through each individual one, but I have a sickness. <laughs> I have so many samples, it is ridiculous. Uh, and believe it or not, this is about half of the samples I have had because I've actually gone through them. <laughs> but the problem is, is every time I place an order, I continue to get more, uh, especially from like ink brands that I've never really used before. So I've used a few troublemakers now. Um, I've got a couple like Vintas. So all kinds of ink samples, uh, which is just a sickness. <laughs> Um, and then I'll pull in some Robert Osters. I have three of them, technically, as far as bottles go. Uh, Antelope Canyon, uh, Australia's Oak, and Fire and Ice. These are a part of the signature line. This one is the one I've had the longest. You can tell the difference that they've made in the labels. That's much thicker now. Um, I do have Robert Oster Hippo Purple. Um, this was a full bottle. Um, but this is all I have left of it now. Um, this is uh, an exclusive you can't actually buy anymore. So those are my Robert Osters. Put those to the side. I only have one Caveco ink, um, and the bottle has been through some times. 
mostly because the only time I use this ink, which is fabulous, by the way, uh, is Christmas time because I'm not a, I'm not a green ink person. Um, so I really only use about a half a millimeter millimeter. Wow, milliliter. <laughs> Uh, to a milliliter per year uh, and it's a 30 mil bottle so it's going to last a very long time. Uh, I only have one Leonardo Officina Italiana ink uh, that came with the um, Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Primary Manipulation with Jonathan Brooks. Uh, these two came together. So this is the only one I have. Um, I don't have a ton of experience with this. I've only ever inked it up uh, two times. Um, it seems to be a bit of a drier ink, but still a very lovely color. Um, so I'm gonna put that aside. Um, I'm just gonna shove these a little further. I only have one uh, Troublemaker ink that is an actual bottle. Uh, I have a ton of samples. This one is Kelp Tea. Uh, this one, I'm going to be real with you guys and say I haven't actually even used. Um, I just bought it on Impulse and that's what happened. <laughs> so there's that. I've used a bunch of the samples. I just haven't actually used that one. Uh, let's jump into Sailor. I have, as I almost dropped that, uh, just two Sailor inks. Uh, so I have Sailor Manyo Kikyu, uh, and even though this is not in the right bottle, oh no, this is actually Die Mine. This was a Sailor. Ha <laughs> ha ha. So JK, I only have one Sailor ink, and this is it. <laughs> uh, I really like this dark blue black ink. Um, it stinks like every Sailor ink I've ever used. It smells real bad, uh, but it is a very nice color. Uh, and I actually bought this bottle by accident uh, from Wonder Pens, but it was a happy accident. And since I spoiled it, I forgot <laughs> that I actually changed the inks. Uh, this is a Sailor Gentle ink bottle, but it is Diamine Ancient Copper. Uh, I was obsessed with this ink many years ago. Oh, goodness, I can't even open it. Um, but I don't use it a ton anymore um, just because I have now so many different inks. Um, but I purchased one of the 30 mil bottles and put it in here. Um, it's still a very lovely ink. I like the color a lot. I just have so many that choices become difficult. <laughs> um, what else? What else? I only have one private reserve ink. This is Vampire Red. Um, this is a, a very, very recent purchase. And by purchase, technically, I didn't even buy it. Uh, these bottles scare the living hell out of me because they're so open and so big, I'm just scared I'm always going to spill it. Uh, um, I got this one for free from Goulet Pens when I purchased the uh, Yooker's Fine Liner. Um, so I've used a full sample of this recently, but I haven't actually used this bottle. Um, I only have one uh, Ackermann ink. This is SBRE Brown's uh, ink very lovely ink. Uh, I like it quite a bit. It is right up my alley as far as the um, color, the warm brown color that it is. I love the bottle. It is a bit of a pain in the butt to like figure out how to get this to drain back in the bottle, but at the end of the day is what it is, uh, and I just, I like the style as well. So I'll put that over there. Um, I have two Diatramentus inks. Uh, cola and tobacco, they are both scented. Cola I've had since the dawn of time in my fountain pen career. And it is scented like cola, but sort of smells like an alcoholic cola. <laughs> um, this one I pretty much exclusively use in my Platinum 3776. I've used about half a bottle. I don't know why, it just sort of happened that way and I haven't changed it. The tobacco ink is one that I don't use as often. Um, which, holy smokes, that was hard to open. Um, it's sort of like a yellowy brown. It has like a bit of a perfumed tobacco smell, but I like the smell. Um, like I said, I don't use it a ton, a ton, but I do quite enjoy it. Uh, then I have four Birmingham inks. I have Copper Chloride, Chrysanthemum, 
uh, Eroded Bronze and Snowflake. Um, these four I purchased. These are the 30 mils. Yes. Um, I think they're all crisp except for one. Yeah. So these three are a part of their crisp line, AKA their regular everyday inks. And then the snowflake is part of their swift formula, which is like a wetter writing ink. Um, I will actually be doing a giveaway of these inks, uh, on my soon to come Patreon page. Um, uh, not these specific bottles cause these are mine. Um, but I have the exact same ones that are unopened, unused, that I will be like brand new bottles that I will be giving away uh, on my soon to come Patreon page. So stay tuned for that. Um, so I have those. This is a relatively new company to me um, that I just discovered this year. They've been around a lot longer than that. Uh, they were just unknown to me. I have two KWZ inks. Uh, I have Honey, which has been in my collection for some time. This was actually gifted to me. Um, and I very much love it. Uh, and then this one I picked up at the Scriptus Pen in 20, Scriptus Pen Show in 2016. Uh, I love it quite a lot. Um, and I love the smell. Uh, it's got like sort of a vanilla like scent to it. Um, some like this older one here, some are a little more sharp than others. This one's a little softer, but either way, I love the smell. Um, so these are my two KWZ inks. I have one, uh, oh, there isn't any picture. All right. Uh, Tasia, I believe is how you pronounce it. Uh, and this is, uh, Benisucci. Uh, I purchased this one from Dan Smith at nibsmith.com. I don't use this one a ton just cause it just seems to hide in my, um, cupboard for whatever reason. Don't know why. It's a very lovely warm tone. I mean, you'll catch the drift. A lot of mine are either blues or warm tones. <laughs> um, so I like that one quite a bit. I have Blueberry Muffin from Monteverde. This is the only ink from Monteverde I have. Uh, again, I got this bottle for free through a promotion at Goulet Pens. Um, I don't like the lid of this one. It feels like it's going to break. And apparently it's leaked a little bit on the inside seal. Um, but it is a very lovely color. Um, but I think the lid is trash. Very cute, tiny bottle though. And then speaking of tiny bottle, uh, Jair Bon Lee de Tay had this one forever and ever, uh, much like Diatramentis Cola. It's been in my collection since the dawn of time. Another ink that's been in my collection since the dawn of time is Noodler's Apache Sunset. Uh, as you can imagine, they're bottles similar in style to this, except they're more square. Um, but that's a ton of ink. I've used the entire bottle with the exception of what I have decanted into this little tiny vial here. Um, I don't use it very much anymore, but as you can tell, I used it a ton to get myself down to a vial. My goodness. Okay. Another one I have two of is Lamy. On camera, they look almost identical. And in real life, they look almost identical. <laughs> um, but you can tell a little bit of a difference when you hold it to the side. So this is Lamy Turquoise and this is Lamy uh, Tourmaline. That's the word I was looking for. They're very, very similar in when you just look at the bottle, but they are quite different in color. Uh, one is very green leaning and one is super turquoise. Lamy Turquoise is my favorite turquoise. Uh, I love the bottles. Um, they're very well behaving inks and I quite like them. Oh, believe it or not, fellas, we are getting there. And then I have the only Ferris wheel print press, sorry, uh, ink that I have. Um, I've used pretty much every one that they offer through samples. Um, this is the only bottle I purchased, uh, and I did it to support my local pen shop, uh, Wonder Pens. Um, this is their exclusive writing desk color, uh, which surprise, surprise, it is a brown color. Um, so like I said, I don't, there it goes. I don't typically, uh, purchase a ton of bottles, <laughs> despite the amount that I have, um, that I've been collecting since basically, you know, 2015. Um, but, and I also don't typically keep them in the boxes, uh, but I really, really like this box. Um, cause it has like Wonder Pens, shop front, their street, of course, Ferris wheel. Like I just really like 
the design of this box, so I kept it. Uh, and then I have two inks left. Uh, this one, I'm gonna have to put the name of on the, the um, thing here because I don't remember what this is called. Um, but it is also a relatively new uh, acquire of mine. Um, I've only used it once thus far. And then the last, but certainly not least, is Pilot Iroshizuku Sukiyo. Uh, so this one um, is the third Pilot bottle that I've had. I've had um, Yamabudo and... My goodness, <laughs> this video has gone on far too long. I can't speak now. What? Yamabudo and the other blue. Kanpeki. Good gracious. Uh, Kon Peki. Um, Kon Peki is very, very vibrant blue. Uh, Yamabudo is a very vibrant magenta. This is definitely a blue black. I adore this ink in my Pilot Custom 912. Oh, it came undone. I'll have to retie that. Uh, in my Pilot Custom 912 um, with the Falcon nib and the Ebonite feed, uh, it comes out super, super blue and gets a crazy uh, sheen which I really, really, really dig. Um, so there's that. And uh, I I had a whole bunch more bottles at the beginning of the year. If you go back and you watch my older um, 2020 <laughs> ink collection, uh, you'll see that I had way more bottles. Why can I not do this? Oh, because there's already a knot in it. Um, you'll see that I had way more bottles than even this mess of things um but i have either gone through them or i've gifted them away um to people who have just started uh just things like that either that or i've been like maybe there's less than a third of a bottle left so some of them like i said i've decanted into um little things there um a couple of them and by a couple i literally mean a couple two um, I have actually thrown away um, because I've had them for so long. And in the beginning of my fountain pen life, um, I didn't really know about like contamination and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure uh, two of them uh, went bad, like they had moldy in them. Um, so wasn't the cutest situation there. Um, this is a terrible thing, but I will redo that. Anyways, long story short, oh, this is what I've got. <laughs> There you have it, friends. That is my ink collection as it stands for the end of 2021. Um, I always say, like I said earlier, that I'm not going to buy more and I always seem to. So who knows what it's going to look like at the end of 2022. <laughs> will I have less? Will I have more? Only time will tell. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. Um, but that said, I am going to try not to, uh, but again, I, who knows? Samples, I've just given up on saying no more samples because it just, I, I always seem to add a few to my cart. I always, always, always seem to. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Stay tuned. There's some good content coming up uh, for this year uh, and the following year, of course. Um, uh, I am going to be starting a Patreon page uh, in the end of January. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, there's going to be some exclusive content over there, uh, including the very first pen sale that I will be doing where uh, Patreon folks will get one week uh, exclusive access before anyone else. Um, I'll be doing all kind of polls up there. Uh, so using that Patreon money, for example, uh, let's say there's like four different pens I'm thinking about purchasing to review. Uh, I will put up a poll between those four uh, and let you guys pick which one you want to see. Whichever one wins is the one that I'll buy. So just little things like that. Um, I don't have every detail worked out yet, um, but stay tuned. I'll make a video very shortly. Uh, so when that is live, I would so very much appreciate uh, you guys checking it out. Um, this sort of fountain pen channel has reached a precipice of what I can do now on my own without uh, getting some support from you all. So uh, I've been hesitant to make a Patreon page but I'm pretty much at the point now where I need to do it. So <laughs> pay attention for that upcoming. You do not have to, absolutely, you do not have to. Um, but if you can, uh, I would appreciate it. Um, I'm still going to continue to make videos. 
have no fear. I do not plan to go anywhere. You'll see the tree disappear soon, I'm sure, but that's neither here nor there. But that is my fountain pen ink collection as of 2021. Um, if you're still here this far into the video, you are the reason I make these videos. I appreciate you with every bit of my heart. I hope you have a happy holiday. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe, absolutely everything that the tubers of you tell you to do. And as always, I'll see you next time.